Hello everybody and welcome to Child Safety Store, your go-to source for all of your child proofing needs. Today we're talking about cabinet locks. Once there's actually the potential that your child can get into any of your drawers, any of your cabinets behind any of your doors and like under furniture, and you'll realize all the things you have that could potentially be dangerous, potentially have to be cleaned up. There's a million things, but luckily there are easy solutions to all of them. And so today we're talking about the double door cabinet lock. There are a million things I could find and there are not even remotely enough surfaces to put all of the things that are dangerous out of reach. And even if you do that, your kids get taller. Not only is this practically to just keep your children out of those places, but it's also just to give you a peace of mind so you don't have to stress about them accidentally getting into something they shouldn't. Our best advice is to do this early, so before they actually start crawling. And that's so it's already set up so that the one day that your child does start crawling, which you can't really predict, you're gonna be all set to go. There also is the reality that working with locks and having all of your cabinets closed is a different way of moving around like your kitchen. And so things might take a little longer. You might have to get used to them. So having those systems already set up and giving yourself time to get used to them before you have to start also stressing about it is a good idea. It just means you'll be super ready when all of the exploring begins. <laughs> so there's actually two examples that I'm gonna show you today. Here are the two examples. Both of them are from Safety First and they're basically the same thing they just have a little different mechanism so we'll start with this one this is the double door cabinet lock and this one's a little more basic it will work just as well as the other one it's just a little more of a basic setup so basically what this is is this is set up so that it fits around two handles it can either be actual handles or knobs it'll work on both of them depending on how big the knobs are so what you'll do is you'll unhook one of the arms of the lock by taking it to the end here there are two little buttons on each side and to be able to unlock it to be able to loosen it you have to pinch both of them and drag it so that's what you'll do and you'll unhook one of them you'll secure it around the two knobs and then once it's secured you'll go like this and you'll put it back to however tight it needs to be. So once these are pushed down, you can move it however you want, and then once you unhook it, you can't move it. Same thing goes for this one. You'll just pinch down on these, and then you can go like this, and that's how you operate it. And then once it's not being pinched, you can't really move it. Um, the only thing that's different is it has a lock indicator, so ideally what you do is you'd slide it onto the two locks, pinch it close, and then once it hits that second lock, it'll go like that when it shows that it's tight, and it'll have that little lock button. So it turns green and it's a little lock button, so it just tells you that it's that it's secured. Does this mean you have to lock every cabinet? Absolutely not. The things that you'll want to keep locked up are, for example, medicine, baking goods, flour and sugar are the culprits of gigantic messes, plates, pots and pans, any cleaning supplies, utensils, anything like that that you don't wanna to have to pick up, you don't wanna to have to clean, and could be potentially dangerous to your child. Those are pretty much the metrics for what you should keep away from your child. So when you're trying to figure out what you need to lock up and how many of these you actually need to buy, I would go around and just keep track of how many cabinets have have things in them that you want locked and then figure out how many are double locks and then get that many. And then for everything that's not a double door that you can't use these on, that's a single door or a drawer, you can use a number of other locks. There are many at childsafetystore.com. So that's it for this video. I hope it was informative. If you're interested in either of these products, check them out at childsafetystore.com if you're not there already. And remember that Child Safety Store compiles the most affordable, easy to use and practical solutions to these common household problems. So go check out their wide range of products in their store. Thank you so much for watching.